Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about a few important concepts that come up in group psychology and these are really important for the MCAT and just in general psychology courses, so let's get started. Our first one is the individuation and this is the loss of self-awareness when in a group. So essentially when people are in big groups they tend to lose their own self-identity and they adopt the identity of a group. Next, we have the bystander effect, and this phenomenon occurs when individuals in a group are less likely to help a person in need. What really happens is they feel that since they're in a group, there's a greater chance for someone else to step in, so they feel the, an, a lack of responsibility to help someone around them, as you can see in this picture right here on the right. Next, we have social loafing, and this occurs when a person puts in less effort when working in a group. So if you look at the picture on the right, for instance, you'll see that three people are lifting up the weights with two arms, and two of them are only using one arm. So because they're in a group, they're putting in less effort, and this is social loafing. If you've ever been in a group in, in school, sometimes you put in a group with people you don't know, and these individuals might slack off a bit because they feel like someone else will be able to bear the responsibility, and so that's, that describes social loafing. Next, we have group polarization, and this occurs when a group comes to a more extreme decision on something compared to if those individuals had made their decisions while not being in a group. So for instance, if you look at that picture on the right, you'll see that an individual says that smoking is bad. And then once they get into a group, they come to this more extreme decision that smoking kills, right? He goes from thinking smoking is bad, not thinking much more beyond that, until he's in the group. Being in the group causes this phenomenon of group polarization, and he comes out of there saying smoking should be banned. So what we're getting is a more extreme opinion that occurs once you're in a group. Next up, we have groupthink. And this occurs when a group comes together on a decision in order to maintain harmony and avoid confrontation. So if you look at the picture on the right, you could see that there's a bunch of people externally agreeing with their boss, asking like if they agree. But deep inside, inwardly, they secretly disagree. But in order to kind of avoid any confrontation and to maintain the harmony of the group, they've agreed to, you know, let it slide in order to keep things going and maintain that harmony. Lastly, we have peer pressure, which is very prevalent. And what it really is, is the influence on people from those they consider equal. And so this peer pressure is from those, you know, closest to you, and they're putting on pressure for you to do something. I hope this video was helpful in explaining different concepts in group psychology. If you have any questions I can help with, please leave them below. Thank you.